So we had a show um, in May. We started we started filming like the end of June, beginning of July. We had a show at the beginning of May. And at the show, we had hired her personal assistant, which was gonna be our road manager. So we were on stage, it was an outside show. We were on stage, they rushed us off the stage. Um, young Naya was there. Yeah, it was. They rushed us off the stage because someone was Somebody shooting. was shooting, so we had mm -hmm. to get on. So yeah. we didn't even finish our show. Someone was shooting, so we left, ran to the back. To the dressing rooms and stuff. So the dressing rooms were outside. Like, like little, what do they call them, little babies? Trailer, like no, trailers yeah. outside. So Candy and I was in the trailer. My sister yeah. and Tiny was in the trailer. So we get to the trailer, our door is jammed. Can't get in. Can't get in. Can't nobody get in. Like a so, thousand people tried. Everybody tried. So we were out waiting for them. Somebody came with the key, it didn't work. Somebody like came hour, with the key, right? it didn't work. Right. Yeah. So um, an hour passed. Um, my sister leaves. But she's leaving, it, and my focus wasn't on her. The way they edited it, tried to make a big deal, like I was mad at her. I was mad at our business manager who left with, behind her with all our money, and the road manager left. You mm -hmm. don't leave the artist. Mm -mm. You do not leave your artist, which is her personal assistant, which is still her personal assistant now. Um, so when they left, they never came back. My sister stated that they walked her to the car because she didn't have security. We all had security. We always have security. If you even go back to the tour from 2017, we all have our own personal security. We don't go anywhere without our security. We had security there. So the next day I was a little upset because the business manager never came back. Um, the role manager never came back. So I put in the group text. We have a group text where we communicate with all of us and our employees. In the text, I sent out. It was very unprofessional how y'all left us yesterday. And I was talking about our road manager, which is her personal assistant now, and the business manager. I'm like, it was very unprofessional. So you know what you do? Keep walking. You know, if you've seen the show, you see what I said. So at the end of it, I said, like, y'all can just kiss my A because I was mad. So here come my sister chiming in. I wasn't even talking to her. And she knew I wasn't talking to her. Yeah, she did leave me, but I would deal with her on another note. Not on this thread. This is a business thread. So I was upset with our business manager and our room manager. So my sister chimes in. Kiss my A. And then she went ranting and blah, 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 blah. I'm not even talking. First of all, if you had an A to kiss, that was a figure of speech. I would never, ever body shame my sister or anybody else. I had surgery. Everybody know I had surgery. After I had my baby, um, Princess, I couldn't get my body back together, honey. I went to the doctor and got it right. So how do I look body shaming anybody, especially my sister? I've been protecting my sister all my life, right or wrong. How do I look body shaming my sister? That was some bull ass. So she blew that out of proportion. Never knew that she felt this way until we started filming. The intro of, of us um, doing this show, it was a Soul Train performance that we did where all of us got the memo. Our stylist, we, me, Candy, and Tiny had the same stylist because my sister wanted to have her own same stylist. Our stylist sent her stylist a picture of outfits that we were wearing, but she said she never got the memo. So she decided to wear green when she knew it was wearing cream. Like even, I had a cute little red dress. I could have been rebellious and wore my little red dress on the red carpet, but I was like, no, nah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be in tune with the other girls. So she got the memo. She went around telling people she didn't get the memo. We didn't care. We didn't care she wore the green dress. I thought she looked marvelous in the dress. Even on the, on the set, I said, hey, I said, hey sis, I said, you look so beautiful. You know what she did? Turn, didn't say a word to me. So it was cool. But I reached out, she wanted to talk. I talked to her husband and I told her husband, look, we ain't ready to film in a month. We and her need to sit down, we need to talk. We don't need to air our business out. I've been, when I tell you, I've been protecting my sister forever. That's what I do, you protect the ones you love. She don't want to talk to me. She don't have a conversation with me. I called my mom, I said, mom, you know, I know you can make this happen. She and I need to sit down, she and I need to talk. Uh-uh, nothing. But when it's time to film a whole month later, it's okay to talk about it in front of camera. 
that's the wackest thing in the world. You don't do that to family. It's no way in the world that my two daughters are not talking and I'm going to let them walk around and not say nothing to each other. We're going to fix that. It, a week would not go by because that's the type of parenting that I do. But my mom was like, no. Then all of a sudden, a month later, my mom calls. She's like, huh, your sister told her side of the story to the, to the TV people. I'm like, first of all, they weren't even there to record what we talked about. So why are we talking about this on TV? No one in history can say I aired out any of my business, my family business, because my mama said, oh, it was not the right time. She wasn't ready to talk to me. Like, what have I done so bad that you can't take a compliment? We are celebrating 30 years in this business. This was like a height of the night. And I was so happy to see her. Just like the first day we filmed, I was so happy to see her. In my heart of hearts, I knew at that moment, me and her was gonna just squash whatever the beef was, whatever she felt. She could say whatever I, I felt I could say. I really felt like we could squash the beef, but it didn't happen. But instead, when we were filming, I walked inside. I felt like I was attacked. There was a lot of stuff that they didn't show. They just showed me going crazy. My daughter was there. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of stuff they didn't show. When I first yeah. walked in, my sister said something like, Oh, you think you're better than people? You don't know how to talk to people? Like, she's doing all this on the TV. I'm sitting there like, who think they better? If she said some other things. She read the um, text. Mm -hmm. So when I went to read something that my mom did, my mama juked the phone out of my hand. It got to the point my mom was poking at me in front of my child. And I was like, mom, like, what are you doing? Like, I felt attacked. I was attacked. My sister say something, my mama didn't say nothing. When I say something, it was Tamika. And I'm like, why can't I explain myself? It's okay for my sister to explain herself, but I can't explain myself. It just got to the point where I just felt like, I just felt attacked. And the only way I could come out of that attack is to say, okay, you say all these lies about me on TV. Let's talk about the truth. Let's talk about you stealing money from me and I, forg I forgave you. I would have never brought it up. That was years ago. I never brought it up. I never got paid back. I had to pay taxes on it and I hid it from my husband. So guess what? My husband knows now. So he's sitting here, he probably like, dang, I can't even trust you. So your, your sister them stole? Cause he's like, okay, our taxes are going crazy right now. What's going on with the taxes? I'm lying to my husband, protecting my sister never got the money back and had to pay taxes on the money. The only thing my mama said was, you don't know what she was going through at that time. That's what she said to me. And I, you know what, I forget. And you were sister. pregnant. And I was pregnant. By the way. I was pregnant. With our money. I was pregnant <laughs> with our money, money when this happened. And this beautiful thing was in college. Yeah. yeah. So we was paying out of pocket for her college. You don't think I could have used that money? But it got swept under the rug. Just like everything that my sister does gets swept under the rug. Please. She's definitely my mom's favorite and I get it you know what I'm saying I love my mama I love my sister I respect my mom even in this I tell my kids what I tell y'all even be when I'm respectful. going through be respectful. be respectful respect my mama you respect my sister this is between us let me deal with this because I don't play that but I still love my mom. I still love my sister. You still can't disrespect my sister. You definitely can't disrespect my mama. And I tell my kids all the time, y'all love them, you pray for them. And for her to be going around telling everybody I disrespected my mama, no, I did not disrespect my mm -hmm. mama. I would never disrespect my mama. I was just voicing my opinion. The little girl that's been trapped in, that's been dealing with this all my life finally came out. And the way she came out may have seemed disrespectful, but I have apologized to my mom. The same way I apologized to my sister at least five or six times for the, for the uh, text message that yeah, wasn't meant for her. You actually apologized on camera and they cut it. They I don't know it. why they took that out because, mm. because you was they like, you was like if, if you feel like I body shame you, I apologize. I was in tears. Yeah. When she said that but to me. But they cut it. I don't even know why they didn't air it. But when she said that to me, it's like somebody took a dagger and went in my heart. When she... Felt like I body shamed her, like I've been protecting you and will fight to the end for my sister. I've been locked up for my sister. I've been kicked out of school for my sister. It's a lot that has gone down. I I should be in jail right now for the rest of my life. If y'all only knew the story, you're gonna hear the story soon. But I should be in jail. It was a grace of God that whatever I what I, I was trying to do to this person who was messing with my sister did not happen because God would not let it happen. But I supposed to be in jail because I believe in taking up for my sister. That's why me and Candy fell out. Taking up for my sister. I go to the end of the world. I would attack whoever I need to attack to make sure family is good. But you know what? Now I'm getting smacked in the face. Yeah, it's not reciprocated. 
is not reciprocated. And it took me this long to realize it. But, but I just feel like I can deal with this. Y'all stay respectful. Y'all stay loving. Y'all stay praying for them. I can deal with this. I've been dealing with this all my life and I'm going to continue to deal with it. That's why I always say when I get, but when I have kids, I'm never, it's a lot of stuff that I said I was not going to do because of what I went through. Not saying that my mom was a bad mom. My mom was a great mother. She worked hard. When her and my dad broke up, my mom worked two jobs to make sure my sister was good. Hats off to my mom. But it was still that separation. It was the whispering and it was the giggling. When I walk in the room, they get quiet. So I always felt like, dang, sometimes I felt like I was a mistake. Isn't that mental abuse though? And you, why are you looking like that, Nay? See, that's what, that's not the look I want you to have. That's not the look I want you to have. How you feel? That it's weird. I think it's a lot for no reason. I mean, I was there when it all happened. The little situation that you text the group and then all of a sudden she jumps back. And ever since then, it's just seeming to be dragged on. And it's just, it's a lot. And it's, to me, it's so little, but they're making it so big. But you know and what then was... I don't get why you're the bad guy because she left us, by the way, because I was there too. You're supposed to be my auntie, but you ain't about to bother to tell me about it, let alone my mama, let alone anybody else. And they were shooting at the show. Like, oh, we, we family, but not by choice or something like that. It's just, I don't know. I, I've been around for a lot of it, and it is a big one-way street. And I just, I don't agree with it. I just don't agree with it. It just shouldn't be that way. You don't show favoritism, thank God. No, Your mother does. Right. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing so that. It's, it's, and then if they sit there and think that it don't affect nobody, yeah. then that shows how selfish they really are. So. All right, this is a lot to digest. Um, we should never be here. We should never be here. I wanted to rectify this, whatever, what was going on between my sister and I before we filmed, but she did not want to do it. But it's crazy that she told Tiny, um, she's like, oh, I'm turning up on this show. They gonna see the real me. So I'm like, who is they? Me and Candy gonna see the real her. Like, okay, I don't understand. I still don't understand. I still don't know why she's mad. She talks about communication, but she changed her phone. None of us have her number. Me, Candy, Tiny, none of us have her number. Um, we can't even communicate. I have to communicate with her through my mom. My mom told me she can't give me her number because she needs her peace. So how you supposed to have a business, but you can't get in contact? Like, I, I don't understand. I can see if I ran over her cat or her dog or something. I, I don't understand. Like, we should have had this conversation before. So now it's playing out on TV. So now we got to deal with it on TV, which is something I never wanted to do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe here with us at Back in Time. But until next time, this is a good time. Get the stepping. Step this is a good time. Get the stepping. Step